Hi everybody, it's your girl Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shella's Creations Way, and I'm going to show you how to make Nacho Supreme, and these are all the ingredients. All right, you guys, I'm doing a virtual collab, and this is what we're going to be eating. We're going to be eating nachos. These are the ingredients, you guys. As you can see, all the goodness on the here and the nachos instead of the chips is gonna be pork rinds. We need that protein. And I also have some corn tostadas that I'm going to be making um, some nacho chips out of using the MCT oil. I'll either bake them or fry them. This is gonna be my meat, my ground beef, and a half pounder high in protein of beef biltong and it's pretty much beef jerk so we're gonna have that instead of bacon a little something different for our nachos so you'll see me put all this together at p-r-o-m-o-s-t-k shellos creations way and we'll be eating this on p-r-o-m-o-s-t-k eating good in a neighborhood eating good in the neighborhood and we'll have us a little asmr moment with those pork rinds y'all see that mm, pork rinds these are all of the ingredients everything that's going to be used today and remember it's all a virtual collab yes and i'm gonna tell you who i'm doing a virtual collab on you just gotta go to P R O M O S T K, eating good in the neighborhood, and see. Hey, everybody, it's your girl Shala. I'm getting started. I'm getting started. I'm getting started for the nachos that I'm doing a virtual collab on. So, what I've done already, if you guys will look, I have already taken the leaves. I, there was three, there was three hearts of romaine right here that was in his bag. I only took out two of the bushels and left one in here because I don't need that one. And then these are the two that I took the stems off of right here. So I'm going to trash. And these are the leaves. Aren't they pretty? These are the leaves. Now I just gotta take them to the sink and wash them. And then once I get done washing them, I'm gonna chop them up. So I'll be right back. And then you'll see me chop them up after I wash these off. All right, you guys. So I got all my lettuce leaves all washed off. Now I'm just gonna chop them up. Do a nice little rough shot. Hope you guys can see a little rough shot. Now I'm just gonna put a napkin in the bottom of this bowl just to make sure all the excess liquid is off of them. So I don't want any excess liquid. On my, on my romaine lettuces. I already have them in a drip pan so that anything extra is gonna fall off in there. But just to make sure, just to make sure. I chose romaine lettuce because it stands up good to any salad. Nachos or anything. Just a real hearty leaf.
we got all that. You can see we got all those lettuce leaves here in the bowl. And I'll leave that napkin in there until it's all absorbed. See that? I'm gonna kind of chop it like that. Yeah, a little rough chops. All right, so I'll sit that aside over here and we'll get rid of these bowls. And now you guys, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my ground beef. Go ahead and turn my eye on. Medium high. And I'm gonna be putting garlic powder. My taco seasoning. My black pepper. And my Worcestershire sauce, all that will go on this round. So I'm gonna use like about, hmm, this is a five pound roll. So I will use about maybe three pounds of it. It's a little over the two and a half. There we go. So I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna save that one. So about what? Three pounds. So I'm gonna use other five pound roll. Get the plastic out of here. And then we're gonna go over to, to the sink. I mean not the sink, we're gonna go over to the stove, you guys. Yes. We're gonna drop this hamburger roll. And here. This dish, you guys, is going to be really simple because everything else will be kind of like a builder bear. We'll be building our salad once we get to the table. The only thing that really has to be cooked is, of course, the ground beef. Go ahead and add my seasonings that I'm going to use in this. Onion powder. I like to be really heavy on my onion powder, you guys. They never over season with onion powder. My black pepper. the last of that black pepper when I pull out my new black pepper. There we go. There's a little black pepper in there. There we go. A little work with your sauce. I like my meat seasoned, so like about maybe a tablespoon of the water to the sauce. Okay. And I'll add my taco seasoning to that. up like that but 
It serves its purpose, you guys. It serves its purpose. It's not gonna take long for this to cook down. And don't forget, you guys, I'm doing a virtual collab on P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, eating good in the neighborhood. So y'all make sure, after you see how I get these prepped up, you guys come on over to eating good in the neighborhood. I haven't decided if I want to combine the videos and make them one. I haven't decided yet. So, it may just be all one video, since the only thing that I'm cooking is this my meat from my nachos. But I probably will keep it separate, probably will. You guys see what all I'm putting in, and I already list my ingredients in the beginning. And with the other two pounds that I have left of the ground beef, I'll use that for another recipe. Maybe even to make meatballs to put on my um, pita bread, my mini pizzas. You never know. There's a lot of stuff you can do with those pita breads. Y'all look at my other recipe. A lot of fixing y'all to put on it. Yeah, <laughs> simmer on down. go back over to my counter island and we will finish up yeah that finished simmering make sure there's no more red meat we'll put it on low okay and then we'll come back over here you guys and what I'm gonna do with my M CT oil, because I'm going to take, I've never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out. I was debating if I wanted to bake it or fry it, but I'm going to do it either way in the MTC oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these, right here, and these are the corn tortillas. Do about maybe three at a time. I'm going to cut them like a tortilla. Like, excuse me, like, like chips, like tostito chips. Like this. Mm -hmm. See that? Okay. Do that. And I'm cutting like three at a time. You can cut as many as you want. I'm just doing three at a time. I think it's probably easier that way. Okay. 
this is actually four. So let's see how four cuts up. Hmm, just a cent. Okay. So I may do, I'll probably do the whole pack. I probably. I don't know. Maybe just half the pack. There's a lot of them. See that? So I probably won't do the whole pack because I just want to try them out and see how it's going to turn out. So there was a total of 30 of these shells in this bag. And I'm probably doing about, let me see. Okay, so I'm doing like half the bag. Okay. I hope it turns out good, you guys. <laughs> We're gonna find out. So I'm cutting up 15 of these tortillas, corn tortillas. I was debating on putting them in the oven, but I think I'm gonna do a little, little fry. Switch eyes. Back over here. Ooh, I just bumped your head. I'm so sorry. I got my skillet on. Put it on a little higher. Get my MCT oil. Just put it in there. Yeah. I'll just pour the rest of that in there. I gotta get some more anyway, you guys. So that's probably like maybe. Let's see. Okay, probably like a quarter cup. Make sure I get it all over. Stir my ground beef up while I got it over here. Okay. All right, so let that get a little hot. chips in here once they fry up. Let's see how this is going to turn out, you guys. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we finna find out. Y'all going to find out with me. Okay. All right, here we go. Y'all can see it. Kind of turn y'all around so y'all can see what I'm doing over here. And give it a little stir. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should have put them in the. Okay. I think I'm gonna put them in the oven. They look like they could possibly chip up. Go ahead, but I am gonna go ahead and turn the oven on. Bake.
And what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and just put them all in here. And let them get that MCT oil on everything. And then I'm going to put them on a cookie sheet. And let them bake up the rest of the way. What y'all think about that? Hmm? Go ahead and turn it off. I just want them all to get all that oil, absorbing that oil. Yeah, looks like they're pretty much absorbed. See that? Okay, now I'm gonna take and put them in the other. Get my pick sheet. Let's see, where is my cookie sheet? My husband moves stuff around, y'all. That's okay. I'll use my roast. I'll use this. just left them all in there but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take them out of them here let them get crisped up the right way in the oven now that they got the oils all on them mm, I think this is gonna turn out really good and then what I'm gonna do you guys I'm gonna have some ranch and look at that this one's crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to leave this one out, y'all. This is my second one. I'm going to leave that one now. I'm going to try that one because it's good already. Mmm. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish taking them out the pan. And y'all come back as I get them in the oven. All right, you guys, here they are. I'm getting ready to put them in the oven. Let them toast up for about maybe 10, 15 minutes on 350. See you in a bit. All right, you guys, these are the tortilla, corn tortillas that I fried and then I let them soak and then I put them in the oven with the MCT oil. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all look at this. Look at this. Crispy, yeah. Mmm. Crunchy good, you guys. Remember, come watch us eat it at P R O M O S C K. Eating good in the neighborhood. To the ground beef that I'm uh, mixing up with the taco seasonings, we're going to also add a high protein, half pounder beef built on. It's 100% natural. No gluten, no nitrates, no artificial colors, no preservatives, no MSG. And right here, you see it's got 90 calories, 2 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, zero sugar. And if you look on the back, 8 servings per container. It's already chopped up. Zero sugars. 16 grams protein. And it has zero carbs. Some good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. This bag right here costs $10.99. $10.99 for this half pounder. Eight ounces. $10.99, you guys. Almost $11. <laughs> I started not to get it, but I, it's, I said, well, you know what? We'll try it out. It's worth it. Instead of bacon, which is what I was going to use, I said, we'll try this. All right, you guys, so this is what we're using in addition to our ground beef. 
This is our table setting. This is our table setting. It's a romaine lettuce cut up, jalapeno right here, black olives, uh, pico, salsa. We got guacamole. We got Valderde. We Valverde. We have hot sauce. We have taco hot sauce. We have sour cream. We have right here that meat I was telling you about. It is jerk beef. We have our nacho hamburger meat. We have our crispy, crispy, crispy skins. We have homemade tortilla shells with the MCT oil and cheese to top it. And we're gonna build the bear. We're gonna build nachos. So we're doing a collab and you guys are gonna see us in five, four, three, two. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are there. P-R-O-M-O-S-C-K, eating good in the neighborhood.